let's take the same names as a matter Ram and Sham start towards each other start towards each other from station A and station B simultaneously they start simultaneously they meet at a distance 120 kilometers from station A after meeting they continue they continue Travelling in their original directions and take fifty hours and 72 hours to reach their respective destinations respective destinations after meeting now what does it mean? So even after meeting, they continue their motion, all right. And after meeting, time has to start. I mean, you have to start counting 50 hours. So this 50 hours is after meeting. That's taken by Ram to reach the destination. What is the destination for Ram? Ram has started from station A. So Ram's destination is station B. Similarly, Sham has taken 72 hours after meeting to reach its destination. What is what is Sham's destination? Sham has started from station B. So the destination of Sham will be station A. Right? I'll repeat. Ram starts from station A. His destination is station B. Sham starts from station B. His destination is station A. Alright? This 50 hours and 72 hours are the times after meeting to travel their respective distances. Okay. Find speeds of Ram and Sham. Distance between stations A and station B, the time taken by them to meet. That means from beginning to the meeting. Okay. First, let's draw the situation here. This is station A. This is station B. Ram starts from here. Let's assume the speed of Ram is R kilometers per hour. Sham starts from here. Let's assume Sham is traveling at a speed S kilometers per hour. Suppose this is the meeting point M. So the distance AM is 120 kilometers. Suppose they take T hours to meet. That means I'm starting for this, let's say they take T hours to meet. That means Ram goes from this place to this place in T hours. That means Sham goes from this place to this place again in T hours. So what I'm writing here is for this distance, Ram has taken T hours. Similarly, Sham has taken T hours for this distance. 
Right? I hope you understand. We have done a couple of questions on this. Because they start simultaneously and they meet here. So that means time taken by Ram to go from this place to this place has to be same as time taken by Sham to go from this place to this place. Alright? Now meeting has happened. After meeting, Sham will continue traveling. Now Sham has to go from M to A. And how much time is, time is taken by Sham? 72 hours after meeting. That means the same distance is covered by Sham in how much time? In 72 hours. Now this distance is covered by Ram after meeting. And after meeting, Ram has taken 50 hours to go from this to this place. That means the same distance is covered by Ram in 50 hours. So this is the situation. So first of all, let's, let me put it this way, AM, this is equal to 120 kilometers. This AM, we know the distance is equal to speed into time, right? So be careful in choosing which distance and the corresponding time. So for example, if, if I look at AM, now this AM originally was traveled by Ram in TR, so speed of Ram into T. This BM distance was originally traveled by Sham. So speed of Sham into T hours, right? Now after meeting, this AM distance is traveled by Sham in 72 hours. So the same distance AM can also be written as speed of Sham into 72. Similarly, this MB distance, that is BM, is traveled by Ram in 50 hours. So the speed of Ram into 50 can be written as BM. Check if there is any problem in this relation. So the first Thing. First part, Ram has traveled from A to M and we have assumed that it has taken TR. Similarly, Sham would have taken TRs to go from B to M. So we have written AM equal to R into T, BM equal to S into T. R is the speed of Ram, S is the speed of Sham. Now, after meeting, Sham goes from M to A. So the distance is same, AM or MA is the same distance value. That should be equal to the speed of Sham into 72. Similarly, Ram goes from M to B. So speed of Ram, that is R, into 50 hours because time is given 50 hours after meeting. Now, look at these two things. I'll write it again. R into T is equal to S into 72. And S into T is equal to R into 50. First of all, what you should do is eliminate T by dividing. So if you divide, T gets cancelled. And we get R by S equal to, now this gets divided to uh, 36 and to 25 times. Oh, so this R comes to this side, so it becomes R square. This S comes to this side, so it becomes S square is equal to 36 by 25. Now 36 by 25 is 6 by 5 square. So if you remove square, you will get R by S. That is equal to 6 by 5. So what we have done is we have got the ratio of R and S. Ratio of speeds of Ram and Sham. We already have one information that is 120 km is equal to A which is equal to R into T which is equal to S into 72. So we could have calculated S from there itself. Let's do that. So we have 120 is equal to S into 72. So we have S is equal to 120 by 72. That is 5 by 3. You divide it by 12, 10 times, 12, 6 times and again 2. So 5 by 3. Or directly 24, 5 times, 24, 3 times. Remember this kilometers per hour. So, speed of Sham is 5 by 3 or 1.66 kilometers per hour. Now that we have already calculated the ratio of speeds R and S, that is 6 by 5. So, from there you can calculate R, speed of Ram, that is R equal to 6 by 5 into S. So, it is 6 by 5 into 5 by 3. So, 5 gets cancelled, 3 twos are 6, so it is 2 kilometers per hour. So our first question is sort, find the speeds of Ram and Sham. Then distance between station A and station B. For that, we will have to calculate Vm. Now you can see that Vm, for Vm you can see it is, we already have A which is 120. Now Vm is R into 50, so R we have already calculated. So it is 2 into 50, which is 100 kilometers. Our question was AB. So AB is equal to AM plus BM. So it is 120 plus 100, which is 220 kilometers. And the third one, which says, 
find the time taken by them to meet. So that is T, T hours. Now T can be calculated from here or here anywhere in fact. From here let's say R into T, 120. So 120 is equal to R into T. We already have R as 2. So if you put R equal to 2, T will be equal to 120 by 2 which is 60 hours. So this way such a big question has been solved by using just one small formula and that is distance equal to speed into time. There is nothing else that we have done. Okay, we have identified the distances, we have identified who has traveled, the speed of that person who has traveled into the time taken by that person. So for every segment, in fact only two segments we have done that, AM and BM. Right? And after simplification we get these answers. Now here I would like to say, just remember, there are not many formulas in this chapter. There is only one formula that is distance equal to speed in time. Right? Broadly, this is the only formula that should be used. So your focus should always remain on that formula.